So let's talk a little bit about image quality uh, when you're shooting photos from a drone. Now you have two choices, you have JPEG or RAW. RAW takes all of the information that's on the sensor when it takes the picture and transfers it to the card. No corrections, nothing done to it. JPEG will take the information that's on the card, it will actually condense it down to a smaller file and it will add some stuff to it depending on what you program in. Now you can program in what you want to add to it on the iPad or on your controller for the drone. Uh, this could be saturation, sharpness, uh, vibrance, you could, you could add all that stuff to it. So once it goes through that process, it's a little harder to work and post as far as JPEGs go. Now the advantage of RAW is everything goes to the sensor, you have a digital negative, uh, and you have a very large file to work with in post. JPEGs are much smaller, uh, any computer can look at the pictures, not all computers can see the pictures of RAW, and you can easily uh, transfer them onto social media. Now RAW files, uh, one of the major disadvantages is that they're so large. Um, but in some cases that, that is an advantage if you're doing a lot in post. But the, the big advantage is that you get a digital negative, which legally shows that that image is yours. So if somebody uses one of your JPEGs online, uh, you can prove that you took that picture, that it wasn't from them, because they, they can't make a raw image from a JPEG. But you can make a JPEG from a raw image. So if you have the raw image, you can easily make a JPEG, a TIFF, or any other format image that you want from that raw file. So my recommendation is always shoot in raw and then convert them over.